Today I'm going to show you how to enable an MKS 5000 device um, so you can control it via Wi-Fi through the Sky iOS. First you have to remove the electronics box partially in order to access the MKS 5000 board. There's two little button 440s on top. Those are the two that you remove in order to get to be able to drop the box down. I'm using a 3 16 hex wrench which should be included in your MX accessory kit or ME2 accessory kit. Alright, so here's your MKS 5000. Um, you also have to remove the electronics box cover with the same wrench with the two little button heads as you're going to replace him with a new one. So, let's do him first. You want the half circle on this side. And then replace the two 443 16s button heads. Now in order to access the section that you need in order to install the Wi-Fi Wi Sky board, you also have to remove these 440s holding on your Kaicon through mount cable connector. These are longer 440 by 3 8 button heads. Also in order to access your expansion hub, um, you have to remove the USB cables. They're locked on this side, so I just use my fingernail to pry it open a little bit and that will free the USBs with a little bit of wiggling and tug. Now you have access to everything that you need. Okay, so before you can install the actual board, you have to remove these three 3 16 440 button heads and replace them with these 440 by 5 16 standoffs. Um, I used the first one and put him in the back here because he's fairly easy to get to. And you just have to screw them all the way down until they bottom out. They don't need to be super tight. I then have these two stacked so that you can get them in between these two connectors since it's a little hard. And screw them all the way down. If you get the bottom one tight enough, you can usually back off the top one without unscrewing the bottom. So he's installed. Then the last one goes over here. your fingers aren't as little as mine and you need a little help, I also use needle nose pliers and use them, especially on this one in the middle, to tighten it up just so that it's not loose. Now you should be ready to install your MKS 5000 Y-Sky. This is the port that you'll be plugging into the MKS 5000 board. We installed this front plate to make it easier to align. So I put those in their respective holes and then line up without grabbing any cables where he sits. There's only one way he goes in and push down, wiggle back and forth, make sure that he's flat. Now the three um, 440 by 3 16 button heads that you removed from the board now get put into here to seat down this Y Sky board. I think I lost my last little button head so he goes here. 
Now, you plug these two cables back into their USB ports. They aren't um, specific, so it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. They'll still work with the hub up here. Then, you want to replace him with his 440 by 3 sixteenths, I mean 3 eighths. And again, these are going into plastic, so you don't need to tighten them up too much, just make sure they're flattened. Now, you replace the electronics box back into the mount. I use the back of it to make sure, look, at, look from the back to make sure there's no cables being pinched and that the dovetails are aligned. Make sure that the front of the box is flat and lined up. Slide them up and then replace your two 440 button heads. Okay, we have installed the antenna after the YSK board was installed and put power to the mount. Um, we're now going to show you how to connect to your IOS device so you can control it through there. So we're going to connect. He's now connected, so we're going to home the mount. You can find instructions on how to set up um, your for the network for your YSky device in the documentation.